Okay, so today we're going to take a look at manufacturing this part right here. This is the horizontal stabilizer leading edge. This is one inch by 049 6061 T6 aluminum tube. And what we're going to do is we're going to manufacture this out of a straight piece. So we have just ordered these in six foot lengths here because they're designed for UPS shipping in that length. So what we're gonna do is uh, we'll clean this up and we'll mark this and then we're gonna put it in the tube bender for you. Four inch. First step is to mark the bending dimensions from the drawing file. Next, slide the tube over the internal nylon mandrel. Position the lines next to the index mark and clamp the tube to the bending die. Insert the other end of the tube into the indexing collet. Rotate the collet stop to the zero index and then lock the collet in place. Next, select the proper bend limiting stop. Lubricate the guide dies. Pull the handle to actuate the pneumatic bender. Hold the bending handle until the automatic stops disengage the bending process. Release the clamp handles. Retract the bender. Reposition the tube for the second bend. Line up the indexing mark. Rotate the indexing collet. And re-engage the clamping blocks. Disconnect the collet. And we're going back to the short bend. Select the next bend limiting oh, stop bend for this shape. bend. And bend up. Actuate the you. bender for the second bend. Disengage the clamping block. And remove the tube from the bend. I was hoping it wouldn't. <laughs> Position the bent tube into the bend validation and tube marking guide. Mark the cutoff positions for both ends of the tube, marking them flush with the end of the bending fixture. Cut the tube to the final dimensions. Wide. And there you go. Once the equipment has been set up, we can duplicate the bends very precisely and mass produce duplicate parts at whatever quantity we wish. This has been another How It's Made episode of Building the EMG-6. I'm your host, Brian Carpenter, and until next time, happy flying.